Hey guys, Goose with Newbie Drone here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the TS100 soldering iron. So let's go ahead and unbox this guy. First we're gonna have a little tool and some spare Allen bolts. We've got the iron itself right here. It's got two buttons and a display. Uh, one end, this is where the iron tip goes in. The other side we've got a USB port and then the power port right there. Of course we've got the iron tip here. This will just slide in right there, but first we've got to loosen up that little nut on the top. So we'll go ahead and take the supplied tool that they give you. Pull that out. Loosen that nut up a little bit. Pop that guy in. Tighten that back down. Just nice and snug, that's all you need. So here it is up a little closer after we've got the tip installed, tightened down, everything's good to go. In our kit, we also include this power adapter that goes from the barrel style of plug to an XT60 connector. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Nitro Nectar 850 4S LiPo to power this. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Plug this end in right here. And you'll see it turns on right there. It's gonna have a little animation to press this forward button which will start heating it. So if I go ahead and push that, you can see it's starting to go up in temperature. I believe the maximum temperature for this is 400 degrees Celsius. So if I hold down this button right here, you'll see I'm able to adjust it down or up in temperature. I'm gonna go all the way up to 400. Leave it right there. Once you leave it alone for a few seconds, it'll go back. Okay, now you can see the temperature is rising up again and going all the way up to 400C. So a cool feature about this is if it's set down on your soldering station or just set somewhere where it's not gonna get touched, if it doesn't move for a long enough time, it's actually got an accelerometer on there where after a minute or whatever it's set to, it will actually go into standby mode, which puts the temperature down to halfway. So if it's at 400 right now, it'll go down to 200 C. This is also something you can configure uh, with the USB cable. There's a little configuration file for this and you can change all the settings for this via the configuration file. We also offer a wall adapter plug for this if you don't want to use a LiPo connector. So basically, it'll come with this little adapter for US plug style, and then a little wall brick. Take that off. You'll just slide this on there like so, and then you can plug it into a wall, and you've got an extension so you can use it when you're at home and not at the field and not have to use your battery. So today at the field when I was flying at lunch, I actually had a little accident with my Oblivion, and one of my motor wires came off of the ESC pad. So what I'm going to do is actually use the soldering iron and show you guys how quick and easy it is to fix a repair like this, which would have saved me at the field if I had had the iron with me. Okay, so I've got the Oblivion up at an angle so you guys can see the ESC 4-in-1 board a little better. I'm going to grab my soldering iron and I will grab my Nitro Nectar that I have the XT60 connector plugged into. Plug that in. This will turn on. Hit the start button. That'll start heating up and getting to temperature really quick. I'm going to set this for 400 degrees, so I'm going to hold this button. And I'm just going to scroll up till I get to 400 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this guy's all set. I'm going to set him just over here for a second. Um, what I'm going to do is take a little solder and just put a little bit of fresh solder right on the ESC pad. Okay, now I'm going to take a little pair of tweezers and I'm going to hold the wire in place and I'm just going to get the solder ready to accept and hold it down on the wire. Let go and that's it. We're all done. Now I can unplug my soldering iron. Make sure you do that and that will start to cool down. It is still very hot so just keep that in mind. Take my cable and now I'm just going to push this down to the side over here to make it nice and tucked. Okay, the canopy is ready to go back on and this guy is ready to fly again. Pretty cool little soldering iron. It's super lightweight. Uh, the features are great. Like I said, you can customize some of the settings like changing uh, when it goes into standby mode. You can adjust the temperature. You can power it off your LiPo or if you get the adapter, you can power it from the wall. I'm definitely gonna be keeping one of these in my field bag whenever I go fly now. If I had had one of these today, I could have done this repair at the field and I still would have had four more batteries to fly. So 
very important and handy to have this around. If you guys are interested in picking one of these up for yourself, I'll have links in the video description below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.